The youth, a sensation that is looking to be tapped into by many, corporates, civil society, government, and among all these, the corrupt. This has been seen through theft of funds and assets at various youth-related establishments such as the National Youth Service and the Youth Enterprise Development Fund. The latter, more commonly referred to as the Youth Fund, carried a lot of hope which was brought down by corruption and leadership wrangles. Poor governance, compromised accountability, integrity and lack of transparency, lack of clear strategic focus, conflicts between and within management and the board. This contributed to the youth fund failing to be true to the name and fund the youth and ultimately their hopes with what was achieved falling short of the desired and promised potential. The fund has so far delivered or dispersed 11.4 billion shillings through its diverse products. This has benefited 840,000 youths across the country. The former board was disbanded after a previous board was dismissed. They were all tainted by the dark signature of corruption. Now, a nine-member board has been inaugurated with its work set out. They need to seek ways of enhancing the financial base of the fund for sustainability but also for scaling up. I've also expressed my expectation on the need for the board to quickly strengthen the management control systems. We will relook at the constitution of the institution. We will relook at the product and service offerings. Once beaten, twice shy. Twice beaten, it's high time. In this case, the cabinet secretary has promised to enhance her oversight role over the youth fund. Dan Mwangi, NTV Business. <laughs>